Hey, it's Pink Czar, and today we're going to be looking at a Belleville set from 2002. Is there any, is there a good year for Belleville? I don't know. This is a pink alarm clock. It is not the pink alarm clock that I wanted, but it's close enough. I think it's an alarm clock. It's a clock. I don't even, I don't know if it's an alarm. It's got a snooze button, so it must be an alarm clock. What is the item number on this thing? It's really small, but it's right here. 4168037. It's got a Belleville butterfly. It's got a red Technic gear. And another red Technic gear. I think I was hoping that there was a pink one. A Belleville set that had a pink uh, Technic gear. Dark pink, I think. But this one has the red one. So we're going to do the unthinkable. We're going to open a sealed Lego set from 2002. It's not that old. But old enough, all Lego sets should be opened and assembled. Let's see how this thing opens up. All right, so there is the clock part. Here is one of our gears. To me, this is the most interesting part. Oh, look, it's already got a piece assembled in there. Look at that. I was not expecting that. Huh. Probably could have seen that looking at the box. We got the nice trans pink. Um, treasure chest there that's pretty neat that's the lid and there's the base there got some dark pink bricks and we got our little butterfly clip thingy isn't that nice it actually looks different than what's on the box on the box it is dark pink the one we get is more of a classic pink which is even better that is great. I would rather have that can go in my classic pink collection. All right, because this is before the change to bright pink. Let's see if there's anything under the base plate. Nope, it's just the base plate there. So there's the instructions on how to set up the clock. We got those pink gears there. I wonder if these are like glued pieces. Yep, they're glued. No, they're not. I'm just not strong enough. <laughs> that's good so we'll put that there we'll put that there and i think we got to put batteries in here oh look oh my goodness all right y'all see this i opened this live on camera it has a battery in there <laughs> wow i'm gonna take this little separator out i'm gonna leave it i may put it back I wonder if this thing actually will work. A 16 year old battery? <laughs> Doubt it, but we'll try. And I can't put the lid back on. The lid, the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid. Oh, I've got to push the battery all the way in. Oh, look at that. It's working. I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, let's see. Let's set the alarm. How do you set the alarm? Which one? Oh. This turns on the light right here. How do you set the alarm? Let me look that up. Let's see if this works. I don't know if this thing is going to work, but um, we got all these extra pieces here to decorate your clock. I guess you can make it like a little castle if you want. I'll make it a castle. Like they show white pieces on the box, but it comes with yellow, yellow cone pieces. We got little flag holders for it right there. I don't think it's going to work. Or you can put jewels in that. It did not go off. The alarm did not go off. Why did the alarm not go off? I set it for 10. Let's 
set it for noon. I'm going to move the clock up to noon. Nope. It's not working. My alarm clock is not working. I'm probably doing... Oh, look at this piece. I didn't realize it had the little mushroom pattern there. Nice. All right, so my alarm clock is not working. I'm sad. You're supposed to set the alarm clock on the base plate and then decorate it with your flowers and your jewel chest there. But I'll try to figure this Just out. Notice that this thing moves. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. <laughs> All right, so I thought this is how you turn the alarm off. This is how you turn the alarm on. So that did not make any sense to me, but that, I, I had to go back and look at the instructions. So now this thing, it actually does work. Comes off a little early. Oh, actually, I got a little bit before, a little bit before twelve. So you can hit the snooze button, and then as time goes by, it'll go off again. I think. No. Yeah, there it goes. You're late. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> I. I just know that I wouldn't want to depend on this to wake up. Uh, aside from it being a girl item, I wouldn't want this to be my alarm clock. You're late. Mm -hmm. So I took the batteries out. I just wanted to show you that. So I collect classic pink parts. And so that's nice that the butterfly is classic pink. This is classic pink. So that will go back in there. I'll just keep this all stored together for now. But I just wanted to show you this. A classic Belleville accessory. It actually is it's not that bad. I don't think it's that bad. What do you think? I wonder if I can get all this back in the box. Oh, yeah. I think I will be able to get it back in the box. Right, I left the battery in there, but I put the... The piece back on to keep the battery from discharging so hopefully it won't corrode it but that is a belleville clock from 2002 what do you think <laughs> would help if i had the microphone near me so that's a belleville clock from 2002 what do you think was i crazy for opening it was i crazy for buying it i don't know Probably. See you in the next video. It's Brigzar. If you like me being crazy, subscribe. Because that's what you're pretty much always going to see.